Okay. So today we are going to go to Australia. And your pilot will be Manbir. Co-pilot will be Monica. And the cabin crew will be Div Maisel Divya. So shall we go? Superb. So over to Manbir. Thank you, Divya. So I welcome all the guests to the today's virtual world tour. So as you know that today we are going to visit Australia. Okay, so yesterday I gave you one homework, little homework. Do you remember that? So is there anybody here with the homework who has made the flag? Anyone? Okay. No problem. So we'll start with the today's tour and we will visit to Australia. Yes, ma'am. I have it. Oh, wow. This is so beautiful. Thank you, ma'am. I painted it. You have painted this, right? Yeah, ma'am. Very nice. That's so cool. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Sisia. Thank you for showing Welcome. the flag. This is really good. Okay, so now we can start with our today's tour. And first, we will look into the location of the Australia. So as you all know that Australia, it is an island country. And here you can see the light image. It is zooming into the place of uh, the country Australia. This is the smallest continent and you can see the largest country on the earth and it lies between the Pacific and the Indian Ocean in the Southern Hemisphere. So here you can see in the live image, the location of Australia. Now we will look to the map of Australia. So Australia has uh, different regions and provinces. So do you know, anyone can tell me the capital of Australia? Canberra, ma'am. Okay, Srisia? Okay, that's okay. So, now talking about the flag, so as Srisia has made one wonderful flag, so we will talk more about the same. So the flag of Australia is based on the British maritime blue ensign. So a blue field with the United Kingdom flag, here this one. So in the canton or the upper west quarter. So here you can see the seven stars. So these stars basically represents, uh, the com these are the common with stars. So the white stars here you can see in the map. These are the seven pointed stars, which are the Commonwealth stars and a representation of Southern Cross constellation, which is made up of five stars. The one uh, small five pointed stars and the four. So there are also other officials representing Australia. It's the people and core functions of the government. So we'll look a little history that how this country come into the existence. So if I talk about this country, so Australia is around 50 to 60,000 years old. So the first fleet was uh, established like the, uh, the British uh, ships were there in the year of uh, January 1788. So this is a really old country. Okay, so now talking about the land size of Australia. So it's 7.692 meter, uh, kilometer, million kilometer squares. And the capital as told by Matthew Morgan. So yeah, capital is Canberra. And the largest city of Australia, it's Brisbane, the largest city. It covers the area of 15,826 kilometers squares. And talking about the national language or the official language, so Australian English is the official language. Now we will discuss about the government of Australia. Okay, so. This country has a government as well as a 
queen rule. So do you know the queen of Australia who rules this place? Have you heard about Queen Elizabeth? Okay, so Queen, yeah. I haven't heard of this place. You haven't heard about Australia before? Yeah, I have heard of Australia. Okay, okay. So now we will explore more about Australia. So the Australian government, which is also known as the Commonwealth government, is the national government of Australia. So this place, like other governmental system, has the Australian government, which is made up of three branches, the prime minister, the ministers, and the government departments. So as I mentioned about the Queen Elizabeth II, so the Australian monarchy is a constitutional monarchy which is modeled by the Westminster system of parliamentary government. So the president monarch is Queen Elizabeth II, the styled queen of Australia. I'm talking about the prime minister. So the prime minister of Australia is called John Morrison. Here you can see his image. You remember the Prime Minister of India? Modi ma'am. Yeah, Narendra Modi. So, Prime Minister of Australia is Scott John Morrison. Now, talking about the population. So, population of Australia is 25.79 million. And the currency, the money, it is Australian dollars. Here you can see a few bills like $5, $10, $20, 15 100 These are the Australian dollar, the currency which they use. Okay, so the national sport of Australia is football. So, okay, so do you know some of the wildlife or the animals which are majorly found in Australia? Or can you identify through the pictures? Have you heard about kangaroos? Ma'am, kangaroos have a pocket for their babies. Yeah, 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 yes. And have you heard about koala bears? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma yeah. It is so, near beach or snow. Yeah, yeah. So here you can see the images as well. This is polar region. Yeah. So, Australia has a wide variety of wildlife. It is home to a list of different and unique variety of animals, birds, reptiles, as well as the plants. So, among Australia's best known wild animals are the kangaroos, the koalas. I'll show you a few pictures. So, here is the picture of a koala bear. Isn't it so cute? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So, it is actually a herbivore animal and it is mostly found in the coastal area like the Queensland and Victorian Australia. So, koalas are basically the symbol of Australia country. These are the national symbol of Australia. Now, we'll discuss a little about the climate of this place. So, the Australia's climate it is basically governed mostly by its size as there are there is a hot sky sinking air in this subtropical high pressure belt. So, here in the image, you can see the hot air over the region as well as the cold air. So, Australia has a wide variety of climates because of its geographical size. So, the largest part of Australia is desert and only the southeast and the southwest corners have a temperate climate, but other regions are usually quite hot. So, we will be watch one video after this presentation. Okay. Now, we will talk more about the food. So, as I mentioned that this country was initially explored by some uh, people and the country also had some British rule. So, that is why this place has a good amalgamation of like uh, people having hunting and eating the like 
animals or you can say the they eat chicken and also they have some good variety of british food so they eat hamburgers they eat meat pie sausages and they eat barbecue chicken and they eat fairy bread and uh, here you can see other which is like smashed avocados so these are a few dishes which the people of australia eat so would you like to taste some of them so do you like hamburger anyone for hamburger no hamburger okay so is there any who yes, eat yes. chicken okay uh, I love ma'am ma'am fairy bread and, and vanilla slice. Okay, okay. So this is the dessert actually. Okay. I need burger, ma'am. Oh, okay, wonderful. Me too, ma'am. I also eat hamburger. Oh wow! Okay. So now we will discuss a little about the airline industry. So Australia has basically four main domestic airline carriers. The one is Qantas Domestic, Virgin Australia, Jetstar, and the Rex. So together, these Australian airlines service all the major destinations in Australia. So the Qantas Airways is the national airlines of Australia. Do they? Do you know the national airlines of India? Have you heard about Air India? Anyone? Ma'am, Indian Airways, ma'am. It's Air India. Air India. Air okay. India. Yeah, yeah. So Air India is the national airlines of India, and similarly, national airlines of Australia is Qantas Airways, which is the flag carrier of Australia, and it is also the largest airline by fleet, which means that this airline has more number of airplanes. Okay, so that was all about the presentation. Now we'll watch a video. So we'll see the destinations which you can go and visit this place. Ma'am, the beach, ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, movie world and the beach, ma'am. Okay. And what about Sathvik? Bridge, ma'am. Okay, great. Ma'am, and the opera, opera house also. Yeah, this is the topmost place which is visited in Australia. Oh, wow, this is the map of Australia. This is the mountain. Yeah, it, okay, so it has kangaroo on it. Yeah, I can see. Okay, this is so um, wonderful. That house. Yeah. So you all enjoy today's tour to Australia? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So you learned today? So you remember the capital of Australia? Okay. So Matthew Mugan knows it other than... Uh, uh, okay. Matthew Mugan knows. Okay, what about others? The capital of Australia. Do you remember it? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so what is it? Kambara. Yeah. Yes, yes. And do you know, uh, do you remember the name of Prime Minister? Ma'am, little, little. Morrison, ma'am. Morrison. Uh, yeah, Scott John Morrison. And do you remember the largest city of Australia? Any guess, any guess. Any idea? It's okay if it is wrong. Yeah, it's Brisbane. Yeah. Okay, so tomorrow we will be visiting Austria. Okay? Mom, so I, which country will be visiting, ma'am? Austria. Austria. Yeah, I'll uh, type it in the chat. Tomorrow we will be visiting Austria. So, I have a little homework for you all. Yes, you have to search about some facts of this country. Okay, okay? ma'am. 
Okay. So tomorrow Hi, we will do this. Right, ma'am? Yeah, you have to search about the facts of Austria. Some amazing okay. facts. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Okay. okay. And should so, we write it? Yeah, you can write it. You okay. can write the facts of Austria. And you can tell it tomorrow, okay? Okay, ma'am. So are you excited for tomorrow's tour? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so we'll see you tomorrow at the same time. Bye, everyone. Ma Have a good day. Bye, ma'am. Same to you. Bye, ma'am. Same to you. Bye, ma'am. Bye, ma'am. Same to you.